Well guys, just kind of sharing something else I do besides restore my sea ray. I've got my captain's license, uh, 50 ton with ocean service. Uh, I do salvage work. What we have here is a 55 foot Chris Craft Roamer made of aluminum. She went down all the way to here. You can see the line. You can see all the lines here in the cockpit. And to give you an idea how far it went down, there's a lot of freeboard. Probably about six feet of freeboard until the gunnels, and then you can see where it came up to. A um, lot of oil. It was an environmental disaster that we had to clean up. We put the booms out, sucked up all the oil off the top of the water with a high pressure vacuum system and a 30,000 gallon tank. The vessel uh, is a total loss. You've got 12 V71 turbocharged Detroit diesels old two-stroke diesels. Um, the cause of the vessel going under was a failed exhaust boot, uh, which you can see in this aft head here. It's down here underneath this cabinet. It's a soft rubber boot that goes on to an 8 inch aluminum pipe that runs the length of the vessel. Um, 8 inch hole in the boat took it down in about 10 minutes according to the captain that was in charge of the vessel at the time. Um, she's a monster. It's, it's a very unfortunate thing here. This is a very beautiful boat with a lot that had a lot of potential. Could have made a great live aboard. Um, I believe it's 55 by 17 and a half. It just would have been a, would have a great, what a great boat it could have been. I would have loved to have uh, done a restoration on it and modernize it. Go on up to the bridge. Some deck furniture. Vessel has a davit with a really nice zodiac rib. So while the vessel's under tow, I'm just kind of keeping an eye on things. Uh, we've got three uh, two-inch pumps set up in the bilges right now, ready to go should anything happen. Um, to raise her, we ended up having to bring in a crane. Um, we put six lift bags down in the aft stateroom. Um, we had uh, six tractor inner tubes from the, the rear wheels of a tractor back there in that aft bilge uh, that the divers all inflated. Um, so we had the crane, the lift bags, the inner tubes. We had three four inch pumps running and five two inch pumps running um, into the bilges as well and we shoved foam into just about any orifice that the boat has. 
a combination of all that is what got her up above uh, above, above the water again. It's being considered a total loss at this point. Uh, but the owner of the vessel did state that he intends to uh, attempt a full restoration on it. And I definitely wish him the best. This is a little bit above what I'm even capable of. But I surely wouldn't mind it, man. This is a great boat. The good news is no stringers or anything. Vessels constructed of com completely out of aluminum. Here you got the uh, the galley. Down there, you've got a forward stateroom with bunks uh, and washer and dryer. Um, nice big living space up front this is but this boat is just huge and then back here aft you've got uh, an aft stateroom there's two heads back here and one more up front back here you've got uh, what used to be a queen-size bed um, giant closets, another head, very dated vanity. Uh, here's another bunk room right here with two twin size beds in an L shape. Again, a, a huge closet. There's a head. Um, even the secondary head right here has a full giant shower that's bigger than the one on my 40 foot Sea Ray. Um, completely separate. Again, this this is a massive Chris Craft, and it's it's a shame. It's a it's, it's a crying shame that this happened. But uh, we're on our way uh, to Port Huron, Michigan. There's a large marina with a very large hoist that's going to hoist her up and uh, out of the water so that the owner can start the process of uh, disassembling everything, pickling the engines, and hopefully, uh, hopefully restoring her. Thank you. 